Hi everyone, I'm Adam from The Garage Woodworker and today we're going to turn this old bed into this bench. Okay, so the headboard is virtually not going to get touched except for once we start screwing things to it. But it's not going to get altered at all. So the first thing we're going to do with the baseboard is take the ironwork out and then we're going to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it along the middle of this middle section here and then I'm going to cut this section here off in half so that I'll have two halves that look the same. So after removing the ironwork from the wooden frame, I could then start the extremely long process of cutting the ironwork in half. I used a reciprocating saw and a grinder to do this. The rings on the ironwork were solid and all the bars were hollow. And the rings were actually really hard to cut through. So I finally got this cut in half, but I actually ended up breaking a lot of these welds with the vibration of the reciprocating saw. So I'm just going to use JB weld to hold it all together. So I've pulled the footboard apart and removed all of the hardware. I'm going to cut the ends off each end of this rod just to remove the holes where the hardware was and then cut it to final length. I could then reattach the rod halves to the legs using glue and screws. After marking out the height of the rod on the backboard, I can then use this scrap piece of the rod with a hole in the center to mark out the center where it attaches to the backboard and then pre-drilled for screws. Using a clamp to hold the leg in place, I glued and screwed it and repeated it on the other side. Using pocket holes assuring not to hit the original hardware, I then glued and screwed the front stretcher in place. I didn't have a clamp long enough so I used a ratchet strap to hold the stretcher while I put in the first couple of screws. I then ran some scrap 2x4s through my thickness art and cut them to length to use as stretches on the sides. And attached them with pocket holes. I then cut the ironwork to final length, pre-drilled two holes in each end and screwed it in place. Cut a stretcher for the back of the bench out of this pine that I had laying around from an old bookshelf I pulled apart and screwed it in place with pocket holes. Cut a couple of strips from a 2x4 that I then glued and screwed in place to make this seat platform. I had some slats from an old bed that I pulled apart that I cut to length and screwed in place to finish off the seat platform. I filled the holes with a down rod and when the glue was dry I cut them off with a flush cut saw and gave them a little bit of a sand. I wasn't too concerned about marking up the bench as it's meant to look rustic and old anyway.
The closest stain I had laying around to the original color was a Merbau stain. It actually doesn't match at all. But I used it just to stain the dowels and 2x4s and just go over anywhere where there were scratches and dings. More just for protection than to actually get rid of them. Next step was to make a seat cushion. I had a piece of MDF left over from a previous build that I used for the base of the cushion. I cut a piece of foam to fit on top of the MDF and stretched and stapled on my fabric. The hot glue was just to hold the foam in place while I attached the fabric. Last step was to screw the cushion in place. I didn't use any glue here as I wanted it to be removable. Okay, so that concludes the bed to bench conversion. I actually went along and repainted all of the ironwork with this metal paint. It's actually made for outdoor metal fences, all that sort of stuff. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The only two things I think I would change is to get this cushion to fully fill these gaps here. And then also the stretches on each side. I think if I could find a stain that matched a lot better because they do look a bit out of place. But from the front, you can't really see them. So I'm not too concerned about that. If you liked my video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. You can also follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram and I'll have links down below. And I'll see you next time.